Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at how to do data binding in Ember.js. So here we are in our browser with a fresh installation of Ember using the Ember app kit. And looking at the code for that, we just have a fresh install of Ember with um, just the loop that we had in the first tutorial. So if you're not sure how to install this, go ahead and watch the first tutorial and you'll be right on track of how to install Ember.js, okay? So I went ahead and created two things for to get us up and running in this video. And the first thing is I created a route. And the route has a name of data binding and it has a corresponding URL part of data binding as well. And the second thing I created was a controller. And this controller has two properties. In it. The first property is first name and the last property is last name. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure that when we navigate to this data binding URL that we want to show this first name and last name properties on this controller. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you remember, anytime you want to display data corresponding to a route, you have to create a template with an ID that has the name same name as that route. So since the route is called data binding, we're going to create a template with an ID of data binding. So here we are and um, now that we have that template, let's have a look at what we see in the browser. So now that we are in the browser, um, let's refresh this page and actually just type data binding here. And as expected, we should just see what's in the application template and nothing else which is below. So that's expected. So now let's go ahead and actually bind to the first name and last name items in our controller. So here back in our template, all we have to do is open our double curly brace and just write the name of the property we want to bind to. So that's first name and the second property we want to bind to is last name. And we'll put those in a P tag so they all stay on their own lines. Okay, back in our browser, when we refresh this, we should see the first and last name displayed. Okay, here we are. So that's all you have to do for data binding. And just one thing I want to explain. This is working because this template that we have here corresponds to this controller that we have here. So it's very important that the controller name corresponds to the router name that you have at the top here. Okay. Okay, so now that was simple to do. Um, now I want to show you how to do um, deep binding. Basically that is binding to properties that are not just one level up. So let's say we have this, I just went ahead and quickly created a present uh, property on this data binding controller. Let's say we wanted to bind to the age 12. Uh, we wanted to also bind to the height of 1.2. So in Ember.js, how do you do that? Let's go back in our template. Um, if you've been following along, you may just be able to well guess that we can do something like say p, and we say present dot age, and let's just say present dot height as well. So um, back in our controller, when we refresh, we should be able to see the height and the age. Okay, that works all right. But what happens when we want to bind to a property that does not exist? So let's go ahead and find out. So we have this P and now we have person dot um, nationality, for example. We don't have that defined on a person, but we'll find out what happens. Back in our browser, let's refresh and nothing happens. Basically, there hasn't been an error. You might be thinking there is, but actually what Ember does is if you try to bind to a property that does not exist, Ember just doesn't show it. That's it. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial video. And in another video, we'll have a look at how to do more advanced binding in Ember.js. But for now, that will do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.